Hello, guys, and welcome to Uprising Entertainment uh, Talk Show, or as I guess you guys would know, <clears throat> UE TS. UETS, that's what he said. And right now, today is Thursday. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day or a wonderful morning or whatever night or whatever time you're looking at this at. I hope you guys are having or being awesome. Yeah. As you guys will know, is that Monday we talked about week of week of music. Tuesday we talk about hoorah, sports. And Wednesday we had some uh, wiki. Or, no, okay, I said wiki again. <laughs> witchy, uh, Wild Wednesday. Not witchy, but, like, you know, it's 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 just Wild Wednesday. And today, we are talking, finally, we're finally talking about awesome games. Today is Thursday, and it's um, Wild Game Day. Or, I guess, just regular game day. And today, we are going to start off with uh, Colton. As he has some pretty cool segments. I got a cool segment too, but I'm more interested in what he got. So, if you want to add anything else, I'll let you have it. I'm not going to add anything else. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, we'll jump right into my perspective of camera view. And I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, like we said, uh, we're going to be starting this off with uh, gaming. So, uh, Thursday is gaming. So... Gaming day, yeah, 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 okay. So uh, I'm going to be focusing on uh, more free roam games that people are very much looking forward to seeing. So uh, the first game that I'm going to be talking about is the new Assassin's Creed Unity. Now this game, I, I love the Assassin's Creed franchise. I know you either love it or hate it. And a lot of people were very disappointed with the last two games, the... Black Flag, and the third Assassin's Creed. But um, I love both of them. So I'm very much looking forward to this game. And uh, so I have three different uh, things about this game that I'd like to share with you guys. The first thing is Unity will follow the story of an assassin named Arno Dorian, which I don't know if I'm saying that right. Don't, you know. So uh, it'll be during the French Revolution. The game will be exclusive to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and, P and uh, PC. It is set to be released on the 28th of October, 2014. Uh, the second thing that I'm going to uh, be sharing with you guys... Okay. Uh, the second thing I'm going to be sharing with you guys is the Assassin's Weapons appearance. All will be customizable. Um, while experience gained... Uh, will be gained and spent uh, for different combat styles that you can choose. And then you can do uh, navigation, stealth abilities, and you'll be spending different uh, kind of like experience points to upgrade those. Arno ex uh, possesses Eagle Pulse, which is still like Eagle Vision. Um, the, the, modern day, the modern day Assassin's Creed portion will return. The, but will differ from the Abstergo Entertainment setting of uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag. This time, players will play as themselves, being contacted by the Assassins at one point, requesting you to explore Arno's memories for them, as well as help them in the present day against the Templars. And I'm very much looking forward to that part. I think, instead, since on the last game, you were recruited basically by the Templars to help them... I think it'll be cool to go to the Assassins this time and work for them again. Okay, so um, following the success of Wolfpack in Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Unity is the first game in the series to introduce a campaign co-op. Up to four players can take on story-based missions, including sabotaging an execution, protecting an emperor, or assassinating a target. Now, this is probably the number one thing I am looking forward to in this game. Customizable, great, that's awesome. But being able to 
have you and all your friends go in and plan out an assassination, you and three other friends and go assassinate somebody all together, or just even if you want to, just storm a compound and just kill everybody there. That will be awesome, and I cannot wait for that. That will just be fantastic for a co-op story mission. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to hand it off to Nathan. Well, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I kind of want to play that game now, or it's not out yet. No, it's not out yet. Oh, sorry. I will try to play that game, but you know me. I don't have that kind of equipment, bro. Uh, Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Since we're on the gaming subject of the future, yeah, I'm going to be talking about the awesome Oculus Rift, the VR, virtual reality. See, this is this awesome virtual reality um, glasses. No, okay, not really glasses. They do have that. But this time it's goggles that basically go over your face. And this time, like, you actually get to see it in um, actual virtual reality. And what this actually does is, like, there's two um, displays where one is the left eye and one is the right eye. And so whenever you actually put it on together, it actually forms in kind of like whenever you put on 3D glasses. They form up this image to actually be a, uh, in real life or, as I had said before, in virtual reality. And so what the, this actually brings up in gaming-wise is more uh, reality to gaming. I mean, most of the time whenever we're playing... Um, scary games like uh, Fear, um, Doom 3. I mean, I, I still play I play Doom 3, as well as playing Dead Space. I mean, this stuff would be a little bit better in um, Oculus Rift because you actually get to be more immersive. I mean, I thought already that I was immersive with sound, being able to know from left to right uh, where sounds were coming from. Uh, but Oculus Rift, once we get that going, uh, I'm set. I'm kind of like in the game. So basically, once I put that on and the music, I'm basically set. And I don't think you might be able to get me out. I think it'd be kind of like, um, like, yeah, virtual reality. It, this actually is pretty cool. I, I'm wanting to get it. It still is in its beta mode. You can get it as a developer's kit and uh, not as like real. They don't have um, any games that uh, they're sponsoring or anything, but they do have games for it that like they're actually like really cool. I mean, I'm kind of thinking just game developer's kit and then actually like go and see some games. I mean, this is really cool. Uh, but that's the end of that segment. I mean, guys, check it out. Oculus Rift, it's the bomb. I'll see you guys later. Uh, actually, next segment. <laughs> Here you go, Colton. That uh, that sounds really cool. I'm uh, very much looking forward to the Oculus Rift. I, uh, I've heard that they were... Uh, Putting like a beta version, like you said, of it uh, in Chuck E. Cheese. They're thinking about it, which I think would be completely stupid. All the children having their greasy hands all over, and then you putting that on your face, and I think that's pointless and stupid. But anyway, um, okay, what I'm going to be talking about is something I am very much looking forward to, and anybody who likes Star Wars will be very much looking forward to. Even if you don't look forward to Star Wars and you like games like Call of Duty or Battlefield, or when you were a kid, you played Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, DICE, is make, who makes Battlefield, is now making a brand new Star Wars Battlefront game. And it will be amazing. I cannot wait for it. It'll be fantastic. I have three things uh, I'm going to talk about to you on it. And uh, I hope you become as excited for it as I am. First thing I'm going to talk about. Now, this is a new feature on the new game. And if it's true, which it's almost guaranteed, it'll be amazing. Now, if you played the first ones, you know that uh, there'll be on the ground, there will be uh, there'll be ships every once in a while that you can get on and you can fly around and have battles uh, on the ground, shoot people that are on the ground. 
And then you also know that there is uh, space battles that uh, would go on in space, and you'd go from one ship to another and fight and blow them up. Well, now you can get on a ship that's in the ground, fly directly up to space, and just automatically go into a space battle. And then you can fly. If you get bored of the space battle, you just fly right back down, and you're automatically in the ground battle again. And you can have battles in between it with other ships. And, I mean, it'll just be fantastic. You can just fly from ground to space, ground to space, and just have either battle that you want. And that'll just be amazing. Now, uh, that is a great feature. And I am looking completely... I am. That would be an amazing feature just by itself. Um, another feature is Jedi and Sith. Jedi Knights and Sith should be in the game. They have rumored and uh it's pretty uh, it's pretty sure it's pretty obvious that a game a Star Wars game without Jedi the way that it sounds would be good like Star Wars Battlefront 1 but if they put Jedi in it they know they'd make a lot more money so they will more than likely be Jedi and Sith in the Star Wars game this uh Star Wars Battlefront game will probably have absolutely nothing to do with the new Star Wars 7 movie. The storyline will not be anywhere near the same, and there will probably be none of the characters from the Star Wars 7 movie in the new game. This being said, there will also be none from the prequel movie, Clone Wars, The Revenge of the Sith, and The Phantom Menace in the game as well. So no young Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon, Mace Windu. Darth Maul and none of them will be in this game as well. This will mainly be uh, during the Emperor, the Galactic War era with Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, and them. And number three, it should be released around the same time that the movie would be released, which is around December of 2015. Now, DICE recently has... uh, been postponing a few games because DICE wants every get one of their games to be perfect, which is amazing because m- most most gaming companies sets a date for their game and does everything they can to release it in that period of time. Well, by doing this, the game will be rushed, can be rushed, and there can be major problems and flaws within the game. So, and then they have to release a different version of it later on. What uh, DICE has done recently is they don't set a date for it to be released on. They work on the game, and then when they think that it'll be done, then they will tell you a date for it. They're just saying that they would like to have it done for marketing reasons around the time that the last movie is going to come out. So uh, it's very possible that it might be postponed and come out after the movie. So uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to give Nathan it back and uh, he's going to talk about a cool Nintendo subject. All right. Thank you, uh, Colton. I we always been playing Battlefront. OK, not really always. I mean, we play Battlefront 2 and we both love it. And I know you're always craving Star Wars. So I'm hoping that uh, we both be able to play that uh, together. But while we're on that note of playing together, um, I have this new game coming out, um, and it's a Super Smash Bros. You guys probably already knew about that coming out. But I'm talking about um, upcoming like characters that like people have been talking about that also I kind of want to uh, come in. And these are like my top five that I want to be in it. As of right now, the first one I'll talk about is Silver the Hedgehog. If you don't know him, he's actually like like Silver. And like if you don't know Sonic the Hedgehog, then you need to get a al- wait. I need to get alive. Scratch it. Uh, okay. The next one I feel like needs to be in this game, Super Smash Bros. is Cloud. Think about it. Final Fantasy Cloud be whooping some butt and be kicking people's like. Behindy out of here. Yes, I'm loving it. Behindy. As well as I feel like the next one, I think everyone wants like knows what I'm talking about when I go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stop right there. You I know I sing beautifully. You know I sing beautifully. But I'm talking about Master Chief. Yes, Master Chief, they actually people have been talking about it. 
but I I doubt it, but I really hope that they would put it. Me me and my friend, we kind of think it'd be kind of funny to have, like, some uh, sticky grenades to throw at, like, Mario while he just just go, Mamma Mia! Pff! Yeah, that's it. I love that. Uh and so, yeah, I believe my fifth person, well, fourth person, actually, Mega Man. Yeah, I, I think that'd be kind of cool. Of, wait, no, I think Mega Man has been in it. Hasn't Mega Man been in it? Either way, um, uh, let's see, who would be my fourth Agent J from the oh he be agent. I really want to see him do some stomping on some beats, and then the fifth one, oh, uh, King Rule. Um, wait, I think I'm saying that King K Rule. Now that if you don't know, that is the ultimate boss of Donkey Kong that uh, I love like uh, killing all the time. But I think that'd be kind of funny. Being able to have his charge roll, being able to uh, kick and punch, as well as, like, uh, carry, kind of like Donkey Kong. I think that that will actually be pretty good. Now, I'm going to bring some sad notes, and I'm going to put some, like, the top five characters that they're thinking about taking away. I don't want you to be sad. You can totally be angry, but put it in the comments, guys. Yeah. Whew. All right, right now... I have Well O'Donnell, which basically um, is, I think, either, let's see, when it comes down to the first character on the chopping block, clone character are the first to come to mind. Wolf O'Donnell, while a cool rival for Fox McCloud, adding nothing to the roster in uh, terms of depth. Basically, this is... Um, like some kind of clone for a uh, fox. And so they basically would take it away because they already have a fox. Next thing they're thinking about taking away is Toon Link. Now, you guys probably knew why because it's just a miniature Link. Me, I like it because it's more cartoony, man. I mean, I, I think he's a little bit childish and awesome. And yeah. The next thing is don't don't be sad at me like I was just talking. I put it all in the comments. Uh, they're thinking about taking away the Pokemon trainer. Yes, at catch them. They're thinking about taking them away, and I don't know what a lot of people are gonna do. They're probably gonna be upset. Yeah, no more Charizard, man. I love that guy. Burn my head off. <laughs> Next thing I got is Solid Snake, and that's basically from Mer Metal Gear Solid. I think I'm saying right. Yeah. Um. I mean, that's not really Nintendo. It's I think it's been mainly on uh, PlayStation and, like, PSP. So, the next one I got is Lucario. And so, yeah, Lucario, it's Pokemon. I think that, like, the Pokemon, uh, they're, they're thinking it's getting a little bit old, so they're putting some more characters just to get in there. But this is only, like, what they think is gonna, they're going to take out. They're probably going to keep some in, probably going to uh, not. But uh, what? That's basically the end. Like I said, um, this is coming out pretty soon. I believe the 3DS is coming up. Oh, whoa. Is coming up. Sorry, I'm looking at uh, the pages. Um, the 3DS version of Super Smash Bros. is coming up October the 3rd, 2014, as well as for the Wii U is coming out on a holiday, which I'm guessing is um, Christmas 2014. So, guys, be prepared. Um, and that's basically into my segment. Let's go a different view. All right. And hopefully you like that segment, too, that I did about the Super Smash Bros. Hopefully you're going to get the game, too, with me, right? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll definitely end up... Uh Getting Super Smash Bros. for the uh, Nintendo for our Nintendo 2DSs that we have. Hopefully, you're gonna end up uh, eventually getting uh, the Star Wars Battlefront or Assassin's Creed Unity. Star Wars Battlefront's definitely a title I will not miss. Well, you kind of know me as being cheap. I still have Xbox 360, and we still play PS2, not three, not four, number two. Yes, we're that old. Or okay, I'm that old. 
but yeah. I actually have a PS4, and I will be more than excited to play Star Wars Battlefront on my PlayStation 4 whenever it does end up coming out. And yeah, and as you know, as what we do at the end, and yet I was right again. Woo! <laughs> we did not think about what we're going to do as a game. I told you. You saw it. You saw it, guys. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're going, yeah, I know, I know. I, told, I knew that you were going to forget. <laughs> Okay, I think um, this is, uh, let's see, first, we did Water Wars, second, we did Banuno, third, we did, what is it, um, w it was Chogurt, we did Chogurt, which is checkers yeah, and yogurt. Now on this one, there will not be a twist to the end of it, it'll just be an interesting game for us to play. This game will be... I will write down uh, a subject, whether it's an inanimate object or an animal or something like that on a piece of paper. And Nathan will do the exact same thing. Nathan is trying to guess the animal or object that I wrote down using yes or no questions. Then I'm trying to do the same for whatever object uh, he wrote down. So it's almost basically 24 questions. And then I can't think of anything. Terrible at those. I can't think of anything, any twist to put at the end of it. Unless you can. It's all right. Guys, that's kind of already hard enough. I'm not really good at... Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm good at questioning. Yeah, I'm definitely good at questioning. But I will never get what you're actually talking about. I'll be like, what color? Blue? Uh, is there any objects in it? There, there can be. Um, is it water? No? What, what is it? The sky? Yeah. See, it's already hard enough. Well, we haven't exactly started the game yet, but uh, so basically, this is just a game of uh, figuring out what they are. So yeah, it's basically almost like twenty-four questions, but uh, we're gonna do that, and uh, we don't have to change clothes for this one. Yay! Yay! So uh, yay! 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 Yeah. Okay. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and go play that, and uh, I guess uh, we're gonna go play that. Wait. We don't get to change clothes this time. We don't have to. <laughs> All right. Household electronic. Yes. Would your electronic be considered a entertainment? 
Yes. Would your object be considered an appliance? Like lamp, dishwasher, oven, stuff like that. No. Can your electronic tell time? Does your electronic heat things up? Yes.
what the object is? Yeah, you can ask what the object is, but that counts as your, as your question. I mean, you can't ask what the object is, you can ask, if you think you know it, you can say, is your object blank, and that counts as your question. Is your object a toaster? Yes. Yeah. Mine is Google Glass. Google Glass? Yep. Yeah. Oh man, I should have said, can you put it in your hands? I was thinking about that. I was like, well, Google Glass is in the hands. The glasses. I know, that's why I was saying. Because the first three things I, 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 after I said, um, does it connect to TV? Was a 2DS, I mean, a 3DS. Uh, PSP Vita and your phone. I was thinking the first thing you were gonna say uh, after you said, "Can you make calls on it?" Uh, I was thinking you were gonna say the uh, the Smart. Galaxy Watch. Yeah. Well, see, like, I was like, if he well, doesn't get that, he's gonna know exactly what it is. So well, the only stuff. reason why I didn't like say any of those two is because PSP Vita can't call two. I don't know why. Why? Skype. Oh. Uh, I guess that's true. That's why, like, once I said that, I was like, well, it takes the 2DS out once I said uh, one screen. And, but um, on Skype, you basically call a lot of people, so it really didn't help me that much. Um, what I guess would have helped me that I should have said is, um, is it a handheld? And you would have said no, and then I'll be like, you would have known it was either the watch or Google Glass. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was between you, it was either grill or toaster. Grill or toaster. Grill or toaster. Grill or toaster. <laughs> no, but, the, but the grill and the, oh, and no grill out there. But that uh, depends what you're thinking about. Because, like, the toaster, I mean, the microwave, I thought that was appliance. And once you, I was thinking toaster, I was like, I I don't know if that really is a like, It's an appliance, it's to but that's okay. Because I, uh, I know you didn't really know exactly what an appliance entailed. But uh, an appliance... Yeah, like uh, toaster, uh, the heat uh, air conditioner can be sometimes as a yeah. uh, See, I thought it was air conditioning, oven, uh, washing machine, dryer, and uh, that closed washing machine, and that's it. That's all I thought. It's like yeah, it's all those, and then it's like uh, lighting is an appliance, it's an electrical appliance, and then uh, toasters and microwave. I love coffee maker. Coffee makers and appliances. Really? Yeah. Oh. But then I don't know about, uh, I don't know if grills considered an appliance or not. But yeah, so I won this one. Ha <laughs> ha, Google Glass. I'm glad, you didn't, I'm glad you didn't put like a uh, lightsaber. Big boy, what's up?